Percy, you're mainstream real, okay? now. Okay, but let, let's tell me how the connection between aliens and the Nazis took place. When did all this start? Well, let, me, let me begin. <laughs> this is really, I'm telling you, Joe, this is a real deal. I believe you. This is, you ask, who are they? It's people who are psychically, genetically available to interface in this incredibly diverse universe with all these dimensions above and below and all around us with consciousnesses. And the truth is, no energy is ever destroyed. It all continues on. The truth is, our bodies, this is a fact, are a communal hive organism of all of our ancestors and all of their race memories, but not in just some compressed epigenetic system. It's beyond that. It's an electrochemical antenna, they've proven this, that connects to higher and lower dimensions. So our body suit, because our, 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 our predecessors wouldn't put us in this position without giving us a bodysuit that is them. Our families are loving us. They're holding us. They're wrapped all around us. Their strength, their will, their bad, their good, their sins, the good things they did, the battles they won, the battles they lost, the woman they loved, the, the man they loved. It's all in us, all these people. It's why we're able to look into so many things and have so many different experiences. And so all the shaman, all the ancient religions, everybody says there are the good ones and there are the bad ones. And the, and people are interfacing. So you say, where does it begin? From the Tibetans to the Mesoamericans to the Egyptians to the Druids to every ancient society describes the same thing. There are bad things that look like elves that have horns when they show you who they really are. And there are good things, but they don't contact you unless you contact them. And then they, they're almost not even concerned with what you're doing. I never bought into this, looked into it. But then I began to think about what did I hear when I was a kid? What did I see? What was coming out in government documents? What was being admitted? When I read all these books about World War II and the Nazis and Hitler obsessed with the Dalai Lama and the Tibetans and what they were able to do without drugs to interface with this and all the rituals they would do and how they were believed that beyond the ether, like at Skull and Bones, it's a German death cult, they do rituals and take drugs to talk to the goddesses. Well, they're just appearing as you know, sexy, beautiful women. It's whatever you want as these spirit guides because lower entities will come in and violate your free will. God and his angels, which are below him, will not get involved in your everyday life. They will not manipulate your free will unless you ask them in. But then the devil masquerades as an angel of light. So we're on this planet, the third dimension, which is a launch pad to all the other dimensions below and above. The third dimension, all the mathematics shows, is is the primal sea of where all this happens. And the earth's like an egg. And we've got all this potentiality and God will send out a transmission for a larger plan, but evil is willing to come in. And what does it say? Demoralize. Get rid of children. Don't have kids. Humans are bad. You will be, will be better once you're all gone. And it's because it's their operational mission for whatever reason that we'll understand later what's going on. So the Nazis, if you get the deep literature, they believed they were basically seancing and, 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 and being possessed by entities that, I mean, it was before the Nazis. For whatever reason, it was the Germans that this happened to and the Swiss. Like, they didn't discover LSD in the 30s. These these people were running the psychology departments. They were interfacing with the occult. They were involved in all this crazy stuff. And it was all about their power and how great they were going to be. And they, the Germans were seduced. And they were seduced because they had high IQs. But more than that, they were psychically connected to each other and would work like robots. The this Chinese and the EU want robots to replace us because they'll follow orders. And the Chinese are very conscious when they're conscious, but they're also very robotic. But the Germans are just as robotic. So this entity system picked Germans as its attempt, even in World War I, World War II, and it was manipulating the Brits as well, and offering them technologies, but two different paths. One was social control and all this other stuff with the Brits. The other was high-tech weapons, uh, systems, interdimensional with the Germans. And so whoever these players are, and you can dial into it, but it's very dangerous. They're manipulating the British arm versus the German arm. And then they've got the Chinese arm that's almost seen as like their robot army. And, 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 and so when you study it, the globalists go to these events and they take bigger and bigger doses of drugs. They do electroshock. 
uh, if you go back to owners of Time Life books, didn't work just in the 20s and 30s and the LSD and and other hallucinogens and apothecary. They were getting electroshock. They were they were they were having people turn their heart off to like try to communicate with these things to try to be dominant and get that. So you go back thousands of years, Merlin, you know, the archetypal or or or, or these magicians or these these wizards are taking drugs in these temples and interfacing with these palantirs, these crystal balls, which aren't really crystal balls. It's their psychic focus of an interdimensional connection while they're on drugs looking into glass to then be able to see the future and understand what's happening to give them temporal power over this planet. But like the Bible tells you, any pharmacia or any of that always leads to destruction because only evil is going to come through that way. So we are basically have these light sockets we can't jack into the higher unless it's our free will, and that takes time. We jack in to the evil. So you can jack into evil. You can't jack into good right away. So it's quicker, it's easier, like Yoda says about Darth Vader. Quicker, easier, more seductive. And so then I remember being a kid, and and, and my parents, they don't really get mad about this. It's whatever. They didn't even know what they were hearing at the time. But they had friends that they knew at UT that were involved in research projects. And then, and then they were, and, every, and nine times out of ten, I wrote about research projects in San Francisco. UT has some, MIT has a lot, and chop me anytime you want. But this was in like the '60s. They had virtual reality gloves where you'd put them on and put goggles on, and you'd go into stuff that looked like the holodeck from Star Trek. 20 years before it existed and they were doing surgeries and all this and they would do empathy loads where they'd say we need the public because we're so weak because the west is so strong people haven't had trauma so they sold them low level oh we're going to create trauma like when you go to mars you're not getting any gravity so your heart's no good when you get there who's your organizing all this well they don't tell you they go oh it's a special class you've been about to so in the 60s they had gloves. so there's a special class of people that are organizing all this shit for it's the what? highest scores but is it for 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 what purpose well you don't know financial so gain social uh, no, status jack parsons uh was he a jet propulsion laboratory alistair crowley devil worship exactly alistair okay crowley, so wait a minute so you're saying <laughs> Jack Crowley over a hundred years ago. Listen to this. Goes to How the crazy is this? And the aliens give the plan. The, 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 the founder <laughs> of JPL, <laughs> Jack Parsons. Have you heard this before? No, I just can't believe I, I didn't want to have Alex on the podcast. No, but did have you ever? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me say no, this. No. I'm not trying to take over, but it's, uh, two years ago, <laughs> but I'm not bullshitting you. Okay, I'm telling you this. The, the stuff. I don't believe in this. Okay, there it is, I'm right not, there. This is patented in 1957. It's a VR machine. Exactly. No, exactly. That's so, crazy. So I've talked Amazing. to people, not just family. Holy shit. And I, it gives I, you I, wind, vibration, aroma, stereo sound, color, motion, wide vision, and 3D, three-dimensional. But let me tell you, they wore a mask in the 60s and 70s that was already, like you see, like paper-thin TV screens. Mm -hmm. And it was already, I talked to people, they said, there's no way this was human technology. So you've seen these foldable phones? Yeah. Yeah, I think the aliens have already taken over Samsung and Huawei. Yeah, though they're shit? down there. They, so, you so, so? The point is, do you think the aliens are taking over Samsung? Do they have any something to do with Samsung? Well, obviously, that's what I'm telling you is the the Pentagon isn't worried about what astronauts. What is all this, Jamie? This is the patent. Wow. And notice that's the what you said the '60s. Uh, I believe 1957. So, so notice that's exactly. What you're that's what my dad told me. That's he, what our HTC yeah, Vive looks that's like that we have like in the front. Today, <laughs> today, so, 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 Joe, this is big. My dad didn't tell me this till he saw Endgame, and he said, no, son, we had virtual reality goggles, and we had CD-ROM, and we had things, and then something else happened, and I, I'm not at liberty to get into it, but I was shown three years ago what the University of Washington was doing under Bill Gates, and this is in the 90s. What were they doing? What do you do? They, they they don't even know what they're being given. It's intravenous. So you think it's some sort of alien intervention type shit, dude? They 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 to get even deeper. They turn your heart off for five minutes, and they pump oxygen into your blood, and you're in the meetings. I've talked to people that are involved. I mean, top scientists. And you're in the meetings with freaking aliens. A elves is the main group. But they're like, so by shutting your heart off, it makes you have that psychedelic experience by keeping blood in your oxygen. It keeps you alive. Well, well, well let's explain. Okay. The heart goes out. The right. body thinks it's dead. Right. So you can stay in longer. I don't right. know all the science behind it. I understand. But let's explain this. Lucky when you've I taken either. DMT or ayahuasca 200 times, like most are astronauts and test pilots aren't flying planes. Those are robots now. It's all mind war. 
So these dudes are like, it stops working once you've taken it hundreds of times. So then they start taking their most psychic people who are able to do this, and they turn their heart off. Hmm. And then they put them into these these events, and and it's like the things the aliens tell them, they come out and they tell scientists, and it works. So Like what kind of shit? They didn't tell – let me tell you, you get killed for this stuff, Joe. This is not – what do you think they want me off the air? Because when I finally figured this out, because I never touched aliens, I kind of knew the whole thing already. Here's what I'm telling you about. When I was a kid, eight, nine, whatever it was, this one, this lady would come over that had known of my parents since UT and was involved, and she'd talk about, yeah, we call it the Psychedelic Research Institute or whatever the name was, but it's really a CIA deal, and, you know, we just can't find people that can handle it. They're going in. The elves want this. And the elves want us to basically reduce population and agree to these certain plans, and, and, and it's all obviously humanization. And they call them the elves. It's the clockwork elves. And, and they're like, yeah. And, and, my, and, and I'm listening to my parents. You're like seven, eight years old. Like They don't think you're listening, talking about, well, this is what the elves want, and this is what they're going to do. And the thing is, it's not my parents aren't that special. You go out to San Francisco. That, that's all there is, dude. It's a cult, man. You all these guys you know from San Francisco, dude. You look at look at the head of Google or YouTube or freaking Apple. He's on TV. Tim Cook and his eyes are this big under lights, man. These guys are on stuff that like nobody even knows. What do you think they're on? Stuff they've been given. I mean, I know people at UT. They won't tell me specifically, but I was telling like you, the dude who owns YouTube. Who's that guy? What's his name? Maybe, Maybe it's a YouTube. girl, you sexist pig. No, no, well, it's a he Google. him. It's, it's, Maybe it's, it's a Alphabet. He him. Alphabet's the parent company. Maybe it's a Zer. Take, take, take Pachari. It's not one dude. There's not like a Jack Dorsey of YouTube. Take, 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 no? take Sundar Pachari. He goes in Congress. I'm there. He's the CEO of YouTube. He's the CEO of Google. Google, sorry. And he's literally on TV going, "We never fix the result. We don't spy on anybody. There is no surveillance." And you've got all these old white men, and I'm not saying white men to be trendy. It's all a bunch of old dumbass white men and a couple of dumbass old Mexican black ladies. They're all dumb, no matter what color they are, going, so you don't spy on it or control it. Meanwhile, their own prospectus to their shareholders is how they control it all, and how they're going to deliver maximum profit. And, and, and Sundar's like, yes, it is true. We have never controlled the search result, and it's just I'm just listening to pure lies. Meanwhile... This guy's only the front guy of Eric Schmidt, and God knows what they're into. They're, I mean, it's Has it been proven that Google does something to, to alter search results? Uh, I'm asking because I don't know. I'm not asking to fuck with you. Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. What did they do? Google itself is about if you pay them, they put your results at the top. Just like Facebook. Okay, well, that's definitely altering search results. So what he said was not true. If they, if you can pay, it's like saying water ain't wet, Joe. Mm. I know you know all this stuff. No, 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 no. I don't know that. I don't know that. No, listen, I'm honest about what I don't know. I know some things, but I, there's a lot of fucking holes in my knowledge base. That's a fact. Well, you know that they try to block my name and direct it toward negative stuff. I'm sure they do. If they do they manipulate. All data. they do is, is all they true? do is the negative. You attack me. It's like it's digital currency. Mm. You go to the top and they pay you money. Right. So let me everybody a little tip watching. Attack me, lie about me, and go to the top, but you lose your soul. 